Okay, a useful tool or an easy way to cheat? As artificial technology continues to grow, educators are faced with a really tough decision. Embrace or block the new technology. Uh, in the Hemlock School District near Saginaw, three school administrators published a book about improving teaching with the assistance of AI. But it's a different story in the city of Detroit where public schools are updating its technology policies to restrict artificial intelligence. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels is showing us how AI is impacting our classrooms. Everybody has a computer on their desktop. Everyone's going to have an AI assistant. Assistant professor at Lawrence Technological University, Paula Larn, falls under the category of educators who are embracing AI. She says the intelligence is requiring educators to get smarter with how they're teaching. We got to rethink how we're teaching. We got to rethink assignments. For Lauren and many others, rethinking assignments means including ChatGPT. If you don't know, this is it. ChatGPT is arguably the most well-known artificial intelligence language machine. It's essentially Google on steroids. The AI gives human responses to most any question, and watch this. It's advanced enough to write a book report for me that seems like it was written at a sixth grade learning level. Do you find yourself getting a lot more done now that you have more tools? Yes, exactly, uh, uh, because previously we used to take a two one or two weeks to complete a base work, but with the use of ChatGPT, we can complete in like one or two days. ChatGPT has more than cut in half the tedious workload of Lauren students like Pavan Quivella. He uses it to generate data and even learn the guitar chords to his favorite songs. However, AI is, is useful, but it's not perfect. Sometimes ChatGPT hallucinates. A hallucination is when the AI gives you an answer that sounds plausible, but is actually incorrect or unrelated. It happened in one of Lauren's recent student assignments. Philip Temple does not exist in the book. It hallucinated and just made up this character. And hallucinations aren't the only worry. There's also cheating. This spring, Detroit Public Schools are updating their policies to limit the use of ChatGPT, saying in a draft that the unauthorized use of it is a form of plagiarism. But at the same time, school districts like Hemlock are sharing tips and tools for their educators for using the technology. I hear a lot with, with the analogy of the calculator. You could do everything that a calculator does. What, what's the value it provides? It's speed. Similar to elementary school math teachers asking students to show their work, English teachers may ask for in-class written assignments. There are also AI tracking websites available for educators to check what content was generated by a computer. The future is here. We can't backpedal that, but educators like Lauren remain emphatic. AI can be an invaluable classroom tool as long as there's an educator in the loop monitoring it. You're going to hear that term a lot, the human in the loop. Mm -hmm. That's not going to change. Reporting for 7 Action News, I'm Sarah Michaels. I think that's the key, though. Kids have to know how to write. You can't just put it in the computer and then let it do it for you. And then just like I mean, that mistake ended up in there. You should get in trouble because you weren't smart enough to actually go double check. But also exactly. the temptation, the temptation <laughs> exactly. is pretty strong there to, yes. to let that thing do all the work. I, I do think kids should learn about it, though, and, and use yeah. it responsibly. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. They're tools. It depends on how you use them. Yes, indeed. All right. Our deep dive into AI continues tomorrow with a look at how artificial intelligence is impacting the arts. What does the new technology mean for artists, playwrights, and musicians? That's tomorrow right here on 7 Action News at 6.